I'm a former visa officer, and now I help visa applicants. I used to be on the inside, I used to be in the consulate, in the embassy, doing the visa interviews, making the decisions on visa applications, saying to the visa applicants, congratulations, your visa has been approved. Or sometimes, yes, unfortunately, I had to say, I'm sorry, I can't approve your visa. Now, why am I on the outside now helping visa applicants pass their visa interviews? While I was on the inside, I saw that there were visa applicants that were refused their visas unnecessarily. Sometimes it was because the applicant made a mistake. Sometimes the applicant didn't know what to say in their visa interview. They got bad advice, uh, they gave short answers, they didn't know how to show their qualifications to the visa officer, and so they got refused because the visa officer just did not know what to do. Other times, I saw that the visa officer's lack of knowledge, lack of cultural context, lack of linguistic skills would lead them to refuse a visa. They can only issue a visa if they feel super confident that they're making the right decision. So if they don't have the right information or they can't understand the information that you are giving them, their only result, that the only result they can give you is to refuse the visa. I left the State Department to come on the outside to start working with visa applicants to try to help you pass your visa interview because I don't want to see any more visa applicants get refused their visa unnecessarily. There's so many people around the world, thousands, tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people who are applying for visas and they get refused, but they know in their heart that they do intend to go to the US, do exactly what they say they're going to do, and then return to their home country. There's judgment involved though. The visa officers have to use their judgment within a very short amount of time. Two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, one minute in some instances. They have to decide is this person credible? Is this person actually going to do what they say they're going to do? Does this person have the means to travel to the US and the incentive to travel back to their home country afterwards? It's a very tough task to convince someone from another culture in a language that might not be your own that you do have these credentials. Luckily, I'm not the only officer that also felt this same way. At Argo, we've got over 20 officers that all experienced the same thing. Through deep experience in the State Department, many years of doing this at different posts around the world, we all found that there were applicants who were slipping through the cracks and getting refused their visas when they shouldn't. And we decided that the way that we could help that situation is to come on the outside and start to offer our knowledge, our experience, and our services to you to help you pass your visa interview. We're the only team out there of former visa officers who have worked all around the world, speak over a dozen languages who are going to help you pass your visa interview. And we're going to help you by knowing all of the regulations that the visa officers themselves are applying when you apply for a visa, and also by knowing what is the mindset and what are they considering not important. What can you say to help them get over that hurdle which is their confidence level about you as a visa applicant? There are many people out there that are going to give you advice. In fact, right now, I'm sure if you're watching this on, on online, you're going to see other videos that are related to visas and visa interviews. And some of them might be okay information. Others are going to be not credible at all. Trust the experts, trust the people who have worked in the embassies and consulates doing visa interviews. I myself have done over 60,000 visa interviews. My colleagues and I together have done over 1 million visa interviews combined. Trust the right source, trust the experts, trust the professionals. We're here to help you. We're taking our knowledge, we're taking our experience, and we want to help you pass your visa interview because we don't want to see any more visa applicants get their visas refused unnecessarily. We can help you. Come to us, schedule a consultation. We are going to help you have the best chance possible of passing your visa interview.